uh, welcome to this lecture. Uh, in this lecture, we will uh, continue our method of uh, Cauchy method of characteristic to solve first order uh, nonlinear PD. And in, uh, if you recall, in the previous lecture, we have discussed the uh, uh, theoretical idea of uh, Cauchy method of characteristic and how uh, this uh, method will help us to find out the integral surface in as a totality of uh, characteristic uh, curves. Uh, so, let us uh, uh, consider some examples so that we can understand the established uh, theory. So, uh, for that let us uh, consider one example. So, here we need to find out the solution of the equation z equal to 1 by 2 p square plus q square plus p minus x into q minus y and uh, which passes through the x axis. Now, here so first uh, with the given data we try to find out the initial curve. And so, since uh, data is uh, initial curve is that it is passes through x axis. So, <coughs> we, we can characterize the initial curve as uh, say x naught equal to sum s, let us say s is a uh, parameter by which we are characterizing the initial curve. So, x naught equal to s, y naught equal to 0 and z naught equal to 0 that is the uh, parameterization of the x axis. So, it means that data is that uh, integral surface which uh, should pass through the x axis. So, we parameterize the x axis by this. So, x naught equal to s, y naught equal to 0 and z naught equal to 0. So, that will give you the initial value of x naught, y naught, z naught. Now, look at the initial value of p naught and q naught. So, for that we use the relation that your initial data, initial curve will lie on the surface that is uh, it must satisfy the <coughs> equation of the partial differential equation that is here uh, put the values of x naught, y naught, z naught. So, z naught is 0. So, this is 0 equal to 1 by 2 p naught is square plus q naught is square plus p naught minus x, x is uh, s here and q naught and y naught is simply 0. So, we have one relation that 0 equal to 1 by 2 p naught is square plus q naught is square plus p naught minus s into q naught and the one, one more relation that, that your uh, dz by ds equal to p naught t x by ds plus q naught t y by ds. So, dz by ds is 0, p naught you need to find out, p naught s you need to find out, dx by ds is 1 plus q naught dy by ds dy uh, y is 0. So, it is again 0. So, e this will give you that p naught equal to 0. So, p naught s we are getting as 0. Now, using this p naught equal to 0, you can find out the q naught from this equation and the value of q naught you can say that a 1 by 2 q naught square minus s into q naught equal to 0. Then if you solve this, you can see that you are getting two values of uh, q naught that is q naught equal to 0 and q naught equal to 2s. Now, uh, we will consider these as two different cases. So, let us say case 1, case 2. So, initial strips are 2, let us uh, 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 write it in a case 1, case 2. So, let us say in case 1 x naught equal to s, y naught equal to 0, z naught equal to 0. This is common in both the cases. The only thing is that p naught equal to 0 and q naught equal to 2 s in this case and, and another case your p naught equal to 0 and q naught equal to 0. So, first in case 1 we try to find out the integral surface and then we will uh, in case 2 also we uh, will find out the solution of integral surface. So, here your characteristic equation of this PD is given by this following thing. So, how you can obtain? So, here if you look at your z is equal to what 1 by 2 p square plus q square plus p minus x q minus y right. So, we can write your f of x y z p q equal to the whole uh, you take the z uh, this side and you can write 1 by 2 p square plus q square plus p minus x q minus y minus z right. And then you look at what is your f of p. So, f of p is basically you differentiate this. So, we will get p and here you will get uh, q minus y that is all. So, this is f of p and similarly f of q is what if you look at uh, here f q is again q plus here you will get p minus x and p f p you can you can easily uh, calculate. Now, what is f of x? f of x is basically uh, minus of q. Uh, so, it is uh, y minus q basically and f of y is basically x minus p 
and f of z is basically minus 1. So, using this you can find out dx by dt as f of p that is p plus q minus y. So, let me write it here dy by dt is equal to fq. So, fq plus p minus x we have written here dz by dt is p f p plus q f q. So, p f p is this f q is this. So, we have written dz by dt dp by dt is minus of f of x plus p f z. So, <coughs> f of x is x minus p uh, and uh, no, sorry f of x is y minus q and this uh, p f z that is this. So, we can say that it is p plus q minus y is it ok. So, that we have written because minus sign is inside you can make it inside. So, d q by d t is uh, your know, minus of f of y plus q f z here let me solve this it is minus f of y is basically what x minus p minus uh, uh, q f z is again q. So, this you can write it p plus q minus x. So, d q by d t is also given. Now, we need to solve these 5 uh, uh, set of uh, this set of uh, ordinary differential equation and initial data is already uh, obtained like case 1 x not equal to s y not equal to 0 z not equal to 0 p not equal to 0 q not equal to 2 s. So, theoretically we can solve uh, this ordinary differential equation and we should have a solution, but here now uh, theoretically it is possible now you uh, your um, uh, experience will come into picture and we uh, solve this uh, depending on the uh, equation to equation. So, here you can easily see that if you look at this equation uh, this d x by d t equal to p plus q minus y and d p by d t equal to p plus q minus y. So, we can write d by d t of x minus p equal to 0. Similarly, you can look at this and this. So, it means that d by d t of y minus q equal to 0. Right. So, here you can simply say that x minus p is constant with respect to t. Similarly, y minus q is constant with respect to t. So, we can write it that x minus p equal to c naught and y minus q equal to c 1 say. Now, we need to find out what is the value of c naught and c 1. For that you can use the initial value. Now, initial value is what x naught equal to s. I am looking at the first case y naught equal to 0 z naught equal to 0 p naught equal to 0 and q naught equal to 2 s. So, here you can use c naught this implies that c naught is equal to what c naught is equal to s here and c 1 equal to what c 1 equal to minus 2 s uh, is it ok c 1 equal to minus 2 s. So, we can write our equation as x minus p equal to s and y minus q equal to minus 2 s that is what we have written here uh, this x minus p equal to s and y minus q equal to minus 2 s that is what we have written here. So, x equal to s plus p y equal to q minus 2 s, but uh, we cannot utilize this also because uh, uh, the value of x y is given in terms of p and q. So, we have to handle uh, we have to find out the value of p and q we cannot uh, write say that it is the solution here. So, for that look at the uh, uh, your uh, equations. So, here uh, you look at the value of p plus q minus x and we can observe if we look at d by dt of p plus q minus x then it is given as p plus q minus x. For that you look at d by d, dp by dt plus dq by dt minus dx by dt. So, if you look at dp by dt is what dp by dt is uh, this thing p plus q minus y. So, it is p plus q minus y plus what is dq by dt? dq by dt is uh, p plus q minus x p plus q minus x minus what is dx by dt? It is same as p plus q minus y. So, it is p uh, plus q minus y. So, you this will cancel out you will have p plus q minus x. So, here we simply say that d by dt of p plus q minus x is equal to p plus q minus x and we can say that p plus q minus x is e to power t. So, here we will get that p plus q minus x equal to some constant let us say c 2 e to power t. Now, I need to find out this c 2 and again we will use the initial condition that is 0 plus 2 s minus s equal to c 2. So, at t equal to 0 your initial conditions are given as like this. So, here you can say that c 2 is s. So, we can write p plus q minus x equal to s e to power t. 
t. Similarly, we can find out the value of p plus q minus y and it is coming out to be 2 s e t. So, that also you can find out. Now, once we have this one relation, two relation, three and four. Now, using one, two, three, four, we try to solve x, y, p and q. Here, uh, z is not involved. So, we can ha uh, have four uh, relation and four unknown to find out. So, we can easily solve uh, our x, y, z, uh, x, y, p and q. So, using this, you can solve as uh, how we can solve. You just uh, look at the value of p plus q here in both the things and you can find out the value of p plus q here and just equate and you will get x and y and p and q here. So, this I am leaving it to you that <coughs> verify that your x is equal to s into 2 e to power t minus 1, y equal to s e to power t minus 1, p s 2 s e to power t minus 1 and q s s e to power t plus 1. So, so far what we have uh, obtained is we obtained the parametric uh, uh, say two parameter family of in terms of x and y, but we have not uh, get any expression for z also. So, we also want two parametric representation of z. So, for that uh, we have to look at the equation dz by dt. So, here we have look at dz by dt equal to p f p plus q f q right. So, using this you uh, go back to this equation then p plus q minus y you already know q, p plus q minus x you know p no uh, p and q all these are now known to us. Now, using this you can write <coughs> dz by dt. So, let me write it what is dz by dt. So, dz by dt is what dz by dt equal to p f p is uh, uh, p plus q minus x right p plus q minus y. So, p plus q minus y is 2 s e to the power t plus q f q is s e to the power t. Now, you write p also p and q also in terms of this. So, p and uh, 2 s uh, e to the power t minus 1 into 2 s e to the power t plus q is what s e to the power t plus 1 into s e to the power t. So, this is d z by d t. So, now it is totally in terms of s and t. s is uh, constant with respect to t. So, you can solve this d z by d t. Now, this again I am leaving it to you to show that your z is coming by this 5 by 2 s square e to the power 2 t minus 1 minus 3 s square e to the power t minus 1. So, now we also have the two parametric uh, two parameter uh, representation of z. So, now x y and z will define an integral surface and now integral surface is given in terms of two, uh, two parameter representation of surfaces. But if you want the, uh, the relation which is not given in terms of two parameter value of uh, two parametric representation then we have to uh, remove uh, the parameter s and t and when you remove the parameter s and t. So, from these two equation you, you can find out the value of s and t in terms of x and y and you can see that you can solve uh, the first two equation for x and y and you can get the value of et and s like this the et is y minus x upon 2 minus 2 y minus x s as x minus 2 y. So, using the value of e, e to power t and s you can now solve for z and you, you can use the expression for this s you know e to power t you know and you can put it here and you can simplify and you, you can get your solution as z equal to 1 by 2 y into 4 x minus 3 y. So, that I am leaving it to you that simplify and you can get this. Now, uh, this is the case when we have assumed the value of q naught as 2 of s, but uh, if uh, we have uh, we have another case also when uh, q naught is equal to 0. Then in this case we again uh, solve uh, this our um, uh, set of ordinary differential equation and we have x as s plus p and y equal to q. Now, once we have this then again we can apply uh, the form uh, the same thing that d by dt of p plus q minus y is equal to p plus q minus y and we can get this value p plus q minus y equal to minus s e to power t and p plus q minus y equal to 0. So, these two equation we can obtain <coughs> and from 1 dash to dash 3 dash 4 dash 
you can solve x, y, p and q and we can get our solution like this that p equal to 0, q equal to y, x equal to s, q equal to y equal to s minus s bar et. So, we can write here s equal to x by solving this and e to power t as um, x minus y upon x when you simplify uh, then dz by dt equal to p into p plus q minus y and if you look at p plus q minus y is coming out to be 0. So, this is 0 plus q p plus q minus x that is uh, written as minus s e to power e t minus s e to power t and you can use uh, the value of q and then you can simplify dz by dt as y into y minus x and we can simplify this as dz by dt equal to s square e to the power 2t minus t minus e to the power t and we can uh, again integrate and using the value that z naught equal to 0 you can simplify that z equal to s square by 2 e to the power 2t minus 2 e to the power t plus 1 which is nothing but the whole square of e to the power t minus 1. So, z equal to s square upon 2 e to the power t minus 1 whole square. Now, we already know the value of s that is s is equal to x and you can simplify uh, simply similarly you can find out the value of y as uh, from the last equation that is y equal to s minus s e to power t. So, we can get uh, the value of e to power t from this. So, we can see that on eliminating s and t we get the following relation that is z equal to x square by 2 x minus y upon x minus 1 whole square and when you simplify it is nothing but y square by 2. So, you can say that z equal to y square by 2 is also an integral surface. So, now what you have obtained in this uh, example, we have obtained two set of integral surfaces right and these two uh, set of integral surfaces are obtained because your initial data is uh, basically two initial data that your integral curve passes through the x axis right. So, here corresponding to two set of integral uh, data we have two integral surfaces. Okay, so, that is what we have obtained in this particular example. Now, uh, let us consider one more example. In fact, we will consider two more example to get the uh, correct uh, uh, thorough uh, understanding of uh, Cauchy method of characteristic. So, uh, this example is using the method of characteristic find the integral surface of p q equal to x y and which passes through the line z equal to x y equal to 0. So, first thing is the get the parametric representation of initial curve. So, here how you can find out the uh, parametric representation of z equal to x y equal to 0. So, you use uh, the parametric uh, parameter s to represent this. So, we simply say that x naught is equal to s. If x naught is s then z naught is also s y naught is 0 z naught is s. So, x naught y naught z naught is there how to find out p naught q naught for that you use uh, partial differential equation that is p q equal to x y and relation dz equal to p dx plus q dy. So, this is true for any parametric so ds dz by ds. So, dz by ds is basically 1 equal to p naught you need to find out dx by ds is 1 plus q naught uh, dy by ds is 0. So, p naught is coming out to be 1. So, p naught is 1. Now, using this since it is p naught is 1 q naught we need to find out x naught is uh, s y naught is 0. So, q naught is coming out to be 0. So, here we have only one uh, initial data that is uh, s 0 s 1 0. So, these are x naught y naught z naught p naught q naught. Now, initial data is given uh, given with us. Now, once we have initial data, now we look at the set of uh, ordinary differential equation. Uh, so, we have for that we simply say that p q minus x y uh, we call as f of x y z p q equal to this then f of p is equal to q f of q equal to p f of x equal to minus y f of y equal to minus x and f of z is equal to 0. So, once we have then dx by dt equal to f p so q so dx by dt equal to q dy by dt equal to f q that is p here dz by dt equal to p f p plus q f q so that is p q plus p q so it is 2 p q dp by dt is minus f of x plus p of f z right. So, f z is 0, so it is f of x, f of x is minus y, so it is coming out to be 
y here dq by dt is x. So, here if you look at our equation is what dx by dt equal to q dy by dt equal to p dz by dt equal to 2 pq. So, to solve uh, our idea is to find out x, y, z in terms of s and t. So, but here to solve um, x, y, z in uh, s and t we need to solve first for p and q because your uh, dx by dt is in terms of q and dy by dt in terms of p. So, first we need to solve dp by dt and dq by dt. Now, dp by dt is given in terms of y and uh, dy by dt in terms of p. So, you can use this and you can simply say that d 2 y by d t square is equal to d p by d t that is y here. So, from this you can solve your d 2 y by d t square is equal to y and this is uh, this has a very simple relation and you can say that you can, you, you can write your y as some linear combination of e to power t and e to power minus t. Similarly, you can write down that d 2 x by d t square is equal to d q by d t that is x here. So, again for the same thing d 2 x by d t square is equal to x and you can write write x as a linear combination of e to power t and e to power minus t. So, we have write uh, we have written x equal to a e to power t plus b e to power minus t and q is nothing but uh, d x uh, d uh, q is nothing but d x by d t. So, d x by d t means q is written as differentiation of this with respect to t that is a e to power t minus b e to power minus t. So, that is uh, q here similarly we can find out y that is c e to power t plus d e to power minus t and dp uh, p as dy by dt that is c e to power t minus d e to power minus t. So, once we have p and q right now it is in terms of um, c and d a b. So, uh, we can do one thing that we uh, we can use initial data right now to find out a b c d or let us uh, uh, solve for dz by dt also. So, dz by dt is 2 p q and you can find out the value of p and q and you can write down this expression and when, uh, when we simplify you have this expression. Now, our idea is to solve your a b c d because um, uh, to solve a b c d we need to use initial data and initial data is what x naught is equal to s, y naught equal to 0, z naught equal to s, p naught equal to that we have to p naught is equal to 1 and q naught equal to 0. right? So, since uh, x uh, t s is given as um, so x t is given as uh, what a e to power t plus b e to power minus t. So, here when we write x t s it means that I am assuming that a and b are a uh, function of s. So, a s is basically what this is uh, uh, value s equal to a s e to power t is simply 1 uh, plus b s e to power minus t is again 1. So, a plus b is equal to s. So, that is this relation. Then using the relation for q that is uh, a s uh, minus b s equal to q naught that is 0 here. So, a minus b equal to 0. So, with this we can find out the value of a and b that is a equal to b equal to s by 2. Similarly, using the relation uh, that y naught is equal to 0, we can write that c plus d is equal to 0 and p naught equal to 1 we can write c minus d is equal to 1. So, c plus d equal to 0 and c minus d equal to 1 it means that c equal to minus d equal to half. So, and we also know that the z naught is equal to s. So, z naught is basically what you can uh, get this from that here a c minus b d minus 2 uh, times uh, b c plus uh, no t is 0. So, this will be gone plus e. So, we have a c minus b d plus e equal to s. We already have a b c d. So, we can find out the value of e and that is given by e equal to s by 2. So, what we have now is this x equal to a e to power t plus b e to power minus t. a and b we already know. So, it is nothing but s by 2 e to power t plus e to power minus t. So, we can write this as s cos hyperbolic t. Similarly, we can write y as uh, c e to power t uh, plus d e to power minus t. So, it is what 1 by 2 e to power t minus 1 by 2 e to power minus t and we can write this as y equal to sin hyperbolic t. Now, using this uh, all values of uh, z uh, a b c d you can write down that z is coming out to be s cos hyperbolic 
square t either you solve uh, uh, using this or you first with the help of x y you got uh, the value of p and q and with the help of p and q you can solve dz by dt equal to 2 p q and then you can get z equal to this value. So, it is up to you whether you directly put the value or uh, you use the value of p and q to find out z it is up to you. So, we can uh, get your z as s cos hyperbolic s square t. Now, we need to find out the uh, integral surface uh, formula whose uh, uh, which is not given in terms of two parameter. So, you remove the two parameters s and t and uh, once we remove the parameter s and t you can get our solution as z square equal to x square into 1 plus y square. So, from this if you look at from uh, x equal to s cos hyperbolic t and y equal to sin hyperbolic t you can get the value of s right and once we have s and then you can uh, put um, uh, uh, y as sin hyperbolic t. So, you can get the value of sin hyperbolic t and you can simplify this s is given as um, x by y and cot hyperbolic t. So, you can simplify this z square equal to x square into 1 plus y square. So, here we have solved uh, this example also. So, now uh, we will consider one more example which I think by uh, this we must have cleared our uh, data and we know what we try to do in each and every example. So, uh, let us consider one more example. So, find the characteristics of the equation p q equal to z and determine the integral surface which passes through the parabola x equal to 0 y square equal to z. Now, what is the characteristic? Characteristic uh, are the solution of integral uh, solution of differential equations. So, those uh, equations uh, those solutions are known as characteristics. Now, let us uh, do it is. So, first thing is uh, character, uh, parameterize your initial curve that is x naught equal to 0 y naught equal to s then z is automatically s square. Once you have x naught y naught z naught use your p d that is p q equal to z. So, uh, p naught q naught equal to z naught that is s square and d z by d s equal to p d x by d s plus q d y by d s. So, here d z by d s is what 2 s equal to p naught u d x by d s is 0 plus q naught d, s d y by d s is 1. So, you can get q naught as 2 s and p naught you can get it from this when we have q naught you can find out the value of p naught that is s by 2. So, we have p naught q naught. So, now we have in all the initial values x naught equal to 0, y naught equal to 0, uh, s, z naught equal to s square, p naught equal to s by 2, q naught equal to 2s. Now, look at the uh, uh, differential equation. So, differential equations are dx by dt equal to all these things. So, for that you have uh, uh, equation p q equal to z. So, p q minus z equal to 0. So, that is your f of x, y, z, p, q. Now, here f of p is q, f of q equal to p f of z equal to minus 1, f of x equal to 0, f of y equal to 0. So, d x by d t equal to f p, we got it q, d y by d t equal to q uh, f q that is p, d z by d t is equal to p f p plus q f q then again to p q, d p by d t equal to p and d, uh, it is minus of f of x plus p f z. So, f x is 0, so we will get a p uh, f z is minus 1. So, we will get p d p by d t equal to p and d q by d t equal to q. Now, again look at here d x by d t d y by d t all these involve p and q. So, first we have to solve we have to solve d p by d t and d q by d t. So, d p by d t here it is quite easy. So, here p is given as uh, something constant c naught e to power t and q is also some c 1 e to power t. Now, how to fix uh, this uh, c naught? So, here at t equal to 0 we already know that p naught is equal to what? So, p naught is given as s by 2 and q naught is equal to 2 s. So, we can write it here the value of c naught is equal to s by 2 and value of c 1 is equal to 2 s. So, we can write p 2 s s by 2 e to power t and q t s uh, 2 s e to power t. So, p t and q t is now known to us then we can write it d x by d t equal to q is 2 s e to power t and d y by d t equal to what 
dy by dt is equal to p that is s by 2 e to the power t. So, when you solve this what you will get x of s of t is equal to 2 s e to the power t plus some constant let us say c 3 and y of s t will be what s by 2 e to the power t plus some c 4. Now, how to get uh, c 3? So, for that initial values is what 0 and s. So, here it is uh, 0 and here it is s. So, t equal to 0 it is 0 equal to 2 s plus c 3 and here t equal to 0 it is s. So, s equal to s by 2 plus c 4. So, c 3 and c 4 is c 3 is minus 2 s and c 4 is equal to s by 2. So, s by 2. So, using c 3 and c 4 uh, x s t will be what 2 s e to power t minus 2 s. So, you get 2 s e to power t minus 1. So, we have x of s t is equal to 2 s e to power t minus 1. Similarly, you can get your uh, y of s t. So, let us uh, look at here. So, x of t is 2 s e to power t minus 1, y t is equal to s by 2 e to power t plus 1. Similarly, once we have um, the value of p and q which we have already obtained here, you can get dz by dt equal to 2 p q that is we can solve and you can get z t equal to s square e to power t. So, this is the integral surface given in two parameter family. Now, uh, to get uh, remove this parameter you can use simplify and you can get the x y y equal to what 4 times e to the power t minus 1 divided by e to the power uh, t plus 1 and from this you can get the value of e t and uh, you use the value of e t and you can use any of the relation you can get your s here. So, here this is I am leaving it to you that find out the value of e to the power t and s and hence we can put it back to this equation and you can write down your relation of z in terms of x and y as follows z equal to 1 by 16 4 y plus x whole square. So, this is the integral surface which we want to obtain. Now, please uh, look at here uh, if you look at if we solve only these equations then we will get a solution in terms of constants. So, it means that the solution of this without utilizing the initial data is uh, the equation of characteristics. But if you utilize the initial data, then it will be an integral strip rather than character, uh, characteristic strip. So, integral strips means that will contain the initial curve, right. So, if you find out all these uh, C1, C2, all the constant in integration constant, then it will be an integral strips. And with the help of integral strips, uh, we have uh, uh, two parameter family of the solution that is what is written here. So, this is an integral surface uh, given in, uh, in terms of two parameter family of representation. Now, uh, this is equally fine, but uh, many a times uh, people want that we should have a equation of uh, surface in terms of z equal to g of some function of x and y. For that we have to remove the parameter s and t and that we can remove from this and we have a integral surface after removing the parameter s and t. So, with this uh, I end uh, our lecture and I hope that uh, you have a better uh, understanding of whatever theory we have already discussed in previous lecture. So, I hope that uh, you will uh, try to solve all the problem to get more insight of this. So, with this I end this lecture. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.